Where the deers and the antelopes play when seldom is heard. Are you done? Yeah. Sir, sir, can you give me a little recording? Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. Well, 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 where has she been? Honestly, she's been a bit lazy. <laughs> You guys, let's test out some new makeup today. Let's talk about where I've been. Let's talk about the future of my YouTube channel, getting back into YouTube. And let's also just update you guys on my life. So much has gone on since I've sat down and talked to you guys. I just got back from my bachelorette two weeks ago, which was a freaking blast. If you guys didn't see the bachelorette vlog and the bachelorette prep, make sure you check it out. Those are both uploaded. But I'm really excited to be back, so let's get into to test it out some new makeup so we've had a lot of people come out with launches especially now that we're in summer season let's play around with some new makeup and let's test out some new things I have the new brow frame from Dominique cosmetics which is Kristen Dominique's brand and I think that this is one of the coolest brow inventions that has come out in a very long time so this is kind of like a definer but if you take a look at it it's really different than any other definer we've seen so it kind of has a very interesting shape to it and the coolest part is that at the end here We have a spoolie and a sharpener. I feel like when it comes to brow definers We normally lose that defining shape because of use so I love that Kristen already thought about that with this I think it's genius So I'm going in with the shade cool deep brown, which is a perfect match for my brows I got to admit I've already used this because I was so interested in in it and I thought it was such a cool invention so I guess let's just get right on into it let's talk about where I've been so a lot of you guys know that I still actively post on my Instagram my TikTok, Instagram stories all that good stuff and for a minute I just feel like I was kind of burnt out when it came to YouTube I feel like I had no idea what people wanted to see from me on here and I also have said this before but I feel like where people are consuming beauty content has shifted dramatically. Look at this difference, wow. Kristen really did that with this brow frame. I really, really love the idea. I gotta say, Kristen's brand really, really, really is innovative. I feel like she's coming out with some of the greatest products out there and I love seeing what she does. And then we're gonna follow it up with the Dominique Cosmetics Brow Blowout Shaping Gel. And I've also used this product before I gotta say this is one of the most firm brow gels in a good way like your brows will not move bitch like let me tell you and if you're someone that has curly brows like myself you're gonna love this because it almost gives like a lamination effect oh it's so good you know I feel like everybody's got a good brow and a bad brow and for me my good brow lately has been my left brow the right brow is giving me problems let's move on to eyes. So we're gonna go in with the Kosas concealer and I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow base. I find that this concealer has a wet consistency no shit, but it has like a hydrating consistency to it. So I feel like it grips on to eyeshadow really, really well. Whereas some concealers can dry down and almost go matte. I feel like this one is perfect for gripping the shadow. I got in the mail the Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles collab, which I think is so great. I love that they did a collaboration together. I feel like it was a long time coming. I'm actually shocked they didn't do a collaboration sooner, but I'm really excited to try out their palette. We have some brushes today we can try out. We have a blush palette. We have lipsticks. And we also have the eyeshadow palette, which I am really excited to try out. So let's get into this. So these are definitely the Lunar Beauty style shadows. And I'm a huge fan of Manny's eyeshadow palettes. I think he does an incredible job with the formula. I always find myself reaching for his Strawberry Dream palette. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do today for my eyes. I'm torn between using color 
and using something neutral. I don't know. I I find like when I open up a palette, my eyes go right to the colorful shades, but I'm also kind of like, eh, let's do neutral. Since I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, let's just pop on a transition shade and we'll see what happens, right? I mean, that seems kind of fair. Ooh, this is like probably a really good highlighter brush, but I'm gonna use it as a transition brush. So let's go in with the shade Besties, which is right here. We'll pop that in the crease. Thank God for my big ass eyelids. This brush fits perfectly in there. So getting back into why I've been gone and you know why I kind of let my YouTube channel get a bit stagnant and also why other YouTubers in the beauty space have done this as well. I feel like the only people that have really kept up with beauty is Manny and Laura. So it was only right that my return to YouTube was using a Manny and Laura palette. Come on, come on. I'm gonna go in next with shade We're Back and I have decided that I'm gonna use the shade Aries all over the lid so we'll kind of do a little blue look. We gotta come back with a bang, baby. So I feel like a lot of how makeup has shifted and changed really has to do with the pandemic and people, honestly, I also think that beauty is one of the most oversaturated businesses out there. So I think the pandemic really took a toll on beauty because people focused a bit more on skincare and you know what were we gonna do a full-on smoky eyed wear to the couch I mean come on it's just not realistic and I think that the pandemic has forever shifted the way that people consume beauty content the way that people look for beauty content and also the style of makeup has changed dramatically as well we're seeing a lot more natural colors we're seeing a lot more natural beauty which I I actually do like I like that skin is having its moment but I honestly feel like I needed to take a break and one of the major reasons is because when I first started my YouTube channel you know I didn't start this channel to sit here and be like I like the consistency of this eyeshadow palette and I really like the way that this foundation wears like yeah of course I love that and I love to give you guys recommendations but I never started my channel trying to be a makeup review I started my channel to really really help people feel beautiful and confident with makeup right because I feel like not everybody needs makeup it's definitely not a need but it's so fun to be able to do and be able to wear and I felt like I was at a point in my career on YouTube where I was just afraid to say anything wrong where I was like if I'm genuinely excited about a product you know the influencer gas if I'm genuinely excited excited about it, people are gonna think I'm an ass kisser. If I don't like the product, then people are gonna say that I don't like it just to prove that I'm not an ass kisser. And I found myself being so consumed with what people were saying about me, with what the comments were being, and with the views. I honestly feel like a lot of my downfall, just even in my career, is worrying way too much about views. I think I wanna throw in a little bit of purple, just to like deepen up everything. So let's Let's go in with Lanny, which is a combo of their names. It's really cute, actually. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner and kind of blend it up into the crease right here. But I'm not going crazy with it. I kind of just want it to be a little bit of a dimension vibe. Like I don't want it to actually show the color purple. Just kind of deepen up and add a little bit of a cool tone to the area. And I also think that a lot of us beauty content creators saw the virality of TikTok talk and how fast people were growing on there and making like insane full-blown careers and also if you are in social media you will understand what I'm saying I think a lot of us grasp for the numbers because ultimately at the end of the day yes in real life likes and numbers and comments it doesn't matter like I get it it does not matter at the end of the day but when your only career is based solely on performance of how your content does on the internet, I think it can be very much so a mind fuck. And with TikTok now being a super, super popular platform, I also think long form videos have been kind of obsolete within the last two to three years. I find that people's attention spans have gotten worse. People want to know if a product is good in 30 seconds or less. And that's just not what YouTube is about. That's not, that's not what Rome is about. We should totally stab Caesar. We should totally just stab Caesar! Mean girls. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave our eyes like this.
this and let's move on to the actual oh should we do a halo eye nah we already did one this week i think i uh, i have an idea all right this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do girl i'm like should i cut the crease Nah, we're gonna just go in. We're gonna go in with Aries. This really pretty blue, purple, iridescent shift. Let's, oh, girl. Do you guys see that when I apply it? That is stunning. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna use my finger. I feel like I'll get more pigment that way. Wow, that is beautiful. I see you, Manny and Laura. I see you, Lanny. So pretty. Sometimes it's hard for these to pick up on camera, but I feel like it's looking really nice. Now I'm gonna take that purple shade Lanny again, and I'm just gonna start to blend it in with the eye shadow, the color Aries, just a little bit more, cause you can see it looks blended on this side, but this side it's just, we kind of lost some of it, which is my own fault. So just kind of adding that back onto the eye. But that shit, girl, that looks so good. I I am like literally obsessed with this. Leave it to Manny and Laura to get me excited about makeup again. I swear to you. Do you swear? I swear. Swear it? She swears. I feel like we're looking really, really cute. I gotta add a little bit more shadow here, but I always like to do my final touches with shadow at the end. That way, like, you know, we can really see it. I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Liner, and we're gonna do a little baby wing. And by baby wing, I honestly don't know the size. We'll just have to see what happens because our fate lies in the liner, okay? It lies in the liner. So, let's go. Hopefully you guys can see this. I always suck at, like, trying to do this and have you guys see it and, like, so, okay, here we go. I literally didn't breathe. <sighs> and then we'll just drag it on in. Like so. Hopefully that was in focus. <laughs> the wings are winging. The shadow is shadowing. Now we need to get the lashes lashing. So we're going in. These are from Birdie Lashes Beauty. This is in the style dream. But you know what, guys? With taking the little break that I did from YouTube, I honestly feel refreshed. I feel really ready to be back and kick an ass here on YouTube for you guys because I honestly feel bad that I, like, abandoned my channel for almost two years. But I think I needed to take that little break because there was too much pressure that even just I put on myself that I wasn't even liking makeup anymore. I was so exhausted from it. Just super burnt out and I feel like there were so many launches and so many things to keep on top of. I was like, girl, I cannot do this. I cannot create content for three different platforms and try to be good at all three of them, you know? So I feel like I'm in a much better space. I feel super ready to be back on YouTube and I honestly feel like I'm coming in hot with a carefree attitude because at the end of the day, people are always gonna have something to say about me, whether it's my hair, whether it's my face, whether it's the way I do eyeshadow. I'm never gonna please everybody. So at the end of the day, I just wanna put out content that I like and that I enjoy and make you guys feel happy. That's like literally all that matters to me, so. And of course, Mo and Junie and Riley. Let's pop this sucker on. Here we go. Perfect! You guys already know this, but I always clamp the fake lash with my natural lashes. That way they just stick a bit better. We are on to complexion now, and that means sunscreen. It is still the middle of the day here, and Riley and I are gonna do some errands after this video. So, I'm gonna go in with, actually we're gonna apply, hmm, hmm. Hmm. We're gonna apply two things. We're gonna go in first with the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. I love this cream. It's super hydrating, especially if you have dry skin. So we're gonna set this down as a base first, and then we're gonna go in with our sunscreen. I always like to apply moisturizer and then sunscreen. That way, like, I don't know, I just feel like sunscreen sits better when my face is already moisturized. Okay, who's licking in this room? Mo just sits there and licks his an arm for hours. Hi June. You good girl. And I gotta tell you guys, I am a mineral sunscreen girly, okay? I love the Kosas Dream Beam. It's SPF 40 and also in general a mineral sunscreen is gonna help with anybody that has super super sensitive skin, like ya girl. As I'm getting older, my skin is getting even more sensitive, so that's great, especially when my job is literally trying out new products. 
Alas, it is okay. These are the things we do for beauty. <laughs> I also will be using a foundation that has SPF, but I still really like putting on sunscreen underneath. Riley's dad actually had skin cancer, so I am very, very aware even more now about using my sunscreen. I used to be so bad back in the day. I would go in tanning booths all the time. I would literally go twice in one day to different salons. I never wore sunscreen screen when I was 18 through probably 23. So now that I'm in my 30s, I am really taking care of my skin. You know, we don't want shoe leather looking skin, okay, when we're by the time we're 60. So I go all out and I'm, I'm up Riley's ass too. I'm up everyone's ass about applying sunscreen. And especially you need to do it on the back of your hands. This is where people age first and the most, by your hands. You can get facials, you can get peels, but the sun damage on your hands are forever. So don't forget to put sunscreen on the back of your hands. Too bad because I was skiing every day in the sunshine without gloves and no sunscreens. In Mammoth? Yeah. Honey? But I put it on my face. So <laughs> okay, I mean at least it's on your face. Oh, and don't forget the tips of your ears. That's also another one. We Riley and I got facials the other day and I was telling the girl, I was like, can you put some on the tip of my ears too? And you need sunscreen even when it's cloudy, okay y'all? Foundation, I'm gonna be mixing these two colors from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin. This is literally perfect for summer and also wedding season. I love the way that this looks on skin. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And if you are someone that has a bit of texture, I would recommend using a pore filling primer. That way you get a little bit more of a smoother complexion look. So I am mixing the shade N26 and R44. I am literally in that awkward phase of foundation right now. Like my winter spring foundation is a bit too light and my summer foundation is a bit too dark so I'm literally right in the middle so I'm gonna just do honestly do like a pump of each and that should be good because I don't want to look crazy either you know what I mean so we'll mix 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 put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up mixy 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 oh I think that's probably like a perfect match slay so I recently found out and like a lot of you guys are gonna be like really Nicole how did you just find this out but like I said I started my channel to make people feel beautiful I didn't know much about makeup. I never went to school for makeup. You know, I'm, I'm learning every single day Oh, by the way, this is an it cosmetics brush foundation brush y'all need it. It is it literally applies foundation so seamlessly I love it. I've been using this Dior brush a lot, but it doesn't have a name So I hate using brushes that like I can't tell you what I'm using because it literally doesn't have a name So anyway back to my story I found out at my bachelorette that the way you can tell your undertone is by looking at the veins on your wrist. And if you have more green veins, that means you have an olive skin tone. If you have more blue veins, I believe that's like a neutral or a cool undertone. So like, I just recently found this out and I feel like my life is forever changed because for the longest time I'm like, eh, I'll just do a neutral undertone. Like, I don't know what my undertone is. Like, honestly, I can get away with, I'm very lucky and privileged that I can get away with wearing foundations and not really having to worry about it. So now I just feel like I'm learning so much. Oh yeah, and my bachelorette, guys. I had the best time ever, honestly. If you are looking to do your bachelorette in some place, I highly recommend Scottsdale. It truly was so much fun. And I, like, honestly, my sister killed it with planning everything too. Like she really, really did a phenomenal job. So I'm very, very, very lucky. And the group of girls was so good. Like I was getting so many compliments about the girls that came on the trip and how much everybody loved everyone and I was like dude that is like all I care about you know like I'm just so glad that everybody got along there was literally no drama which is the best thing in the world and I also feel like you know you are a product of the company that you keep around so it was it was a good little ego boost for me too <laughs> I was like hell yeah I got good friends wow that looks that just is like a beautiful beautiful foundation you guys oh and also don't forget to blend behind your ear. That is one of the ways that you can tell you're actually wearing foundation is if it doesn't match the ears or behind the ears and any of that. Especially like I've been self tanning a lot so you gotta make sure everything matches bitch. You don't wanna be clocked. This is unclockable bitch. You know now that I'm sitting here and filming for YouTube like
like I, I actually am having like a really great time, which in the past I would have sat down here and been like, oh, let's get it over with. And I'm just, I'm having a great time talking to myself for you guys. Ooh, I wanna show y'all a combination that I've been doing that I actually really, really, really love when it comes to concealer. Now, since I am wearing a bit more of a hydrating foundation, I am gonna mix this up a bit. I am gonna go in with the Dior Backstage Concealer and my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. The two of these together are seriously a match made in heaven because the Dior has like a hydrating element to it and the Maybelline has more of a matte element to it. So the two together are just a match made in heaven. So I've really been loving this combination and I actually use the pink concealer from Maybelline. This is in the shade 160 and I literally just do a dot you'll see like bloop bloop that's literally what I do it looks kind of crazy you can't even really tell that it's a pink concealer but in real life you can sometimes the camera and the lights can blow some of this color out which isn't always the best but it is pink rest assured and since the combination of the two like I normally would let this Dior concealer sit for a minute but since we're working with the instant age rewind I want to kind of work a little bit quicker than I normally would because I don't want it to just dry down in a circle that will look really really weird so work quickly if you're using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind or mixing it with anything. But also the two of them together, it's just like, God, it just looks so, it's literally butter. It looks so good. So that's kind of what I've been doing and I really like it. So I had to put y'all onto it. And of course, just dragging it up by the wing as well. I went a little bit on the wing. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Whatever concealer is left on this sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it on the lower cheek here because we can almost do kind of like contouring on its own right look at that it already kind of did that but I'm still gonna contour you best believe I am such a huge tower 28 fan if you are a girly or a guy or a person that just wants a really really good cream bronzer and good products that are great for sensitive skin tower 28 is your girl I use the sculptino in the shade Getty and I just think it's gorgeous it goes on beautifully it's super super creamy and tower 28 is one of the the only beauty brands that is actually certified by the National Eczema Association with their products being sensitive enough for eczema and dermatitis. So that's what I really like because as I'm getting older, my skin is getting a bit more sensitive and it works out for me to have products that are already geared towards sensitive skin. I don't have to worry as much as I would if I didn't have that. And then I'm also going to go over it because I got sent the Man Eater from Tarte. These are the new contouring sticks. So I'm also gonna go, ooh, these are creamy as hell too. But I'm gonna go over the Sculptino because I feel like I'm using a shade that's a little bit too light. So we'll go in with this Man Eater and that should deepen up that contour. Yeah, perfect. This is creamy. Look at that. I'm just like buffing it out. I'm not even swiping it. It blends beautifully. Wow, that is gorgeous. Ooh, I definitely am interested to see how this looks on its own because it really blended like butter. So love that. For blush. I'm gonna use the new NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush and this is in the shade Behave. Let's just go in like that. This is like a very pretty baby doll pink. Now, it's gonna be hard to see on camera, I feel like, because it's a little bit too light for my foundation right now, but it is very pretty. You'll just have to take my word for it. I need to use a darker color, but I don't see one on my desk. But I really like the texture of it. It's a very liquidy texture and it blends very easily. It's not too dewy, but yeah, I'm gonna probably have to add some Rare Beauty blush because you can't really see it, but I promise this is a really gorgeous blush. I need to find a shade. Let me, let me see really quick if I can find a darker shade. Two hours later. So, I can't find a darker shade, but I found this hot pink shade from Rare Beauty that I've been meaning to try, so let's give it a little try. We're literally gonna have to just go in with a dab because this is hot pink. 
bloop. You like my sound effects? Here we go. Oh, stunning. That is a, that is beautiful. But you see how little product I used. That is gonna be the key here. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck with a mess on your face. I'm gonna have to redo it. But that is, ooh, that is so pretty. Bloop. Wow, I really like that. That looks really, really good. The blush is blushing. It's giving. And then, if you ever feel like, you know, you brought your blush up maybe a little bit too close to your concealer, take your sponge. It already is gonna have product on it from your concealer. You don't need to add more product. Just pick up your sponge and blend away. That's like literally one of my favorite tricks in the game is just using whatever residual product is already on your sponge. It's the best way to go about it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup. Not much has changed here. I do use this really cute powder puff, which I will link everything down below for you guys. Go right on in. The powder puff is great because as my skin is getting a bit more mature, you know, I turned 30 in December. So as my skin is maturing, this doesn't make my under eyes look like a wrinkly ball sack, which is what I like. Because sometimes using different textures like a brush or a sponge or even your fingers, sometimes that can kind of really grab onto those creases and make it look worse, which we don't like. So using a powder puff like this really just adds a blurring element to it. I also just set whatever else is on my face, set the forehead, set everything, especially since this is a dewier foundation. For powder bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. This is the Fenty Beauty in Private Island, and I really like this shade a lot. Fenty, I love this bronzer. Please don't ever change it. It's the best. I think I have consistently used it since y'all dropped it, so please, please, Fenty. For blush, we're gonna be using House Labs. I absolutely love this blush. If you don't have it in your collection, I highly recommend it. It looks gorgeous on everyone. This is in the color Dragon Fruit Days, and the way that I recommend applying it is like literally just a touch. Tap off the excess, bitch. Go in and just tap it on the face. With this blush, a little bit goes a long way. You do not wanna do more. Then you're gonna be stuck with a hell of a lot of blush on you as well, so you wanna really Really be careful with this. I also add a little bit to the tip of my nose. We're looking cute. For our under eyes, let's go ahead and pick back up the Manny and Laura palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that matte brown shade, the color We're Back, and I am gonna go ahead and just use that a little bit to get these lashes going, the lower lashes. Ooh, that is pretty. We're gonna use some of that colorful Aries color. But yeah, I hope you guys are ready for a lot more wedding content because we're gonna be uploading a lot, especially now that we get closer to the wedding. We are at four months out, which is insane to me. We also have my bridal shower coming up, so you guys will see a vlog of that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add the shade Fool Fam to the inner corners here, which is this like really pretty, I wanna say it's like a pink, light pink shade. It's really pretty, very sparkly too. Love that. We gotta add some mascara to the lower lashes. By the way, the new mascara that everybody's talking about that's like super viral everywhere is the Falsy Surreal from Maybelline. The hype is real. Like, I, obviously I'm wearing lash, fake lashes right now so you guys can't see the full effect, but I did do a TikTok reviewing this mascara, so if you're interested, I'll link it below for y'all, but it is so good. Like, if you see it at the drugstore, Ulta, you better pick it up before you can't get it. Even for the lower lashes, it looks gorgeous on. The wand is a little bit long and big, so just keep that in mind if you do have smaller eyes this might not be a fit for you all right let's finish up these lips I'm going in with Mac oak lip liner and I'm gonna just overline the middle cupid's bow I draw a straight line just as you guys saw and then I follow the natural lip line I really only overline the cupid's bow area I'm between these two these are the new KVD lipsticks I don't know I kind of want to go with this one because I feel like it goes a bit more with the yeah it kind of goes a bit more with my eyes maybe we'll do a mixture yeah let's do Ooh, that's pretty but I want to add a little bit more dimension so maybe either go in with a lighter gloss or with this pink shade maybe we'll do both like a little bit in 
the center there. Ooh, that is so pretty. All right, let me add a little bit of gloss too. Let's go in with this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Sweet Mouth. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. That looks cute. That looks really good. Ooh, I, I am feeling this look, y'all. This looks so cute. All right, let's finish it off with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Ooh, and a little bit, a little bit of the Kosas Glow IV. I love this stuff. It looks so pretty on, and it's pretty subtle, you know? It's, well, listen, if you apply it like crazy, it's not gonna be subtle, but I think it looks really pretty when applied correctly. We're just gonna do this right here in this corner. Super pretty. Oh yeah, there she is. How you doing, huh? A little blending. Pop in some 30 years earrings. The 30 years necklace, we're matching. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I am so excited to just be back here on YouTube and spend some time with y'all. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope all of you guys understand as to why I was taking a break and you know, just kind of the burnt out vibes that I had when it came to YouTube. But I'm really feeling refreshed and I am so excited to be back and I love the way that this makeup look turned out. I honestly feel like everything we used today was pretty bomb. You know, the NARS blush, it is really pretty, but I just don't have a dark enough color for my foundation shade and my complexion shade right now. So I'll definitely have to check back in with a darker color when it comes to that one for you guys. But everything else really performed beautifully, especially the Manny and Laura palette. I think that that's a huge, huge hit. They killed it with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I will see y'all next time. Bye.